Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former President Donald Trump has just stuck a monkey wrench in the Georgia prosecutor Fannie Willis's plans, if she had these plans. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Now, as you guys know, it is very much believed by most of the media and most experts that former President Trump will be indicted next week in Georgia, and it looks like it might be racketeering charges related to the 2020 presidential election, and they're saying that he tried to interfere and illegally change votes and, and basically steal the presidency. That's the, well, that's the federal case, and the Georgia case is along the same lines, which is why a lot of people believed the Georgia case was actually unnecessary at this point, but... Be that as it may, Fannie Willis apparently wants to score, I believe, apparently wants to score political points, and so she's very likely to bring this um, this indictment. Now, next week, she is scheduled to meet with the grand jury and present her case to them. So, again, this could result in the fourth indictment for the former president, and that is, it's really taken a toll, I think, on him, maybe mentally, certainly taking a toll on him financially, and in the presidential race. So when he was confronted by a reporter at the Iowa County State Fair, or the, sorry, the Iowa State Fair, he was confronted by a reporter who asked him if he would accept a plea deal in the Georgia case. Trump said unequivocally, no, he would not accept the plea deal under any circumstances. Now he went on to blame Joe Biden for the prosecutions, although Joe Biden, of course, is not a prosecutor and has no role in the prosecutions officially. So I think, you know, maybe I, I wouldn't put it on Joe Biden either. I think Democrats are doing what Democrats do. These are Democrat prosecutors. I don't think they would bring these charges against a Democrat politician. I could be wrong, but I don't believe so. I think that his insistence on not taking a plea deal is actually wise. You don't want to plea to a felony as you're running for president. You don't want to plea to a felony ever, but you certainly don't want to plea to a felony as you're running for president. So if the DA thought that maybe she could pressure him and get a quick conviction on a plea deal, well, that kind of destroys that plan, if that plan was in the works at all. He's telling her, don't even bother. I won't even look at it. And like I said, I think it's the wise move here. I don't, first of all, did he do anything wrong? I didn't see all the evidence, so I don't know. But I don't believe he was saying, go steal me the votes. I believe that he believed those votes existed and he just wanted Georgia to find them. But I believe that he believed they existed. And that's a big part of this case. Did he believe what he was saying was true? Because if he did, well, then it's hard to argue that he was asking them to steal the election. I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments. Should Trump take a plea deal? Should he, should he fight every case all the way? Let me know. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.